<laughs> ah. Sonic! <laughs> Whoa! Well, that happens. Greetings, everyone! My name is Xifreak, and welcome to your Sonic.exe. Um, specifically the, um, 2023 remake. Now, I originally heard about Sonic.exe when it was a creepypasta. I think everyone knows knows all those popular ones, Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, and and also Sonic.exe. I think it was the, one of the first haunted game creepypastas, and it really later went on to gain popularity, made other stuff like Lunar Game and Ben Drone possible. It's such a classic creepypasta, but later on it got deleted from the creepypasta wiki for being not so original. Even so, it still holds a place in my heart. So, um, I actually heard about the remake being made when Kyu Sawamura posted the official soundtrack to it. Kyu Sawamura is supposed to be the um, composer of the game, so I actually heard about the game from him or her. I'm actually quite excited to play this since I haven't played Sonic.exe in a long time. And I'm quite excited how this remake will turn out, so... <coughs> Sorry if I don't have too much commentary about this. I'm just really excited to... So what I heard was Hugh Sawamura not only composed Kill Act 1, but also came back to compose more other tracks. And and also there were more sprite artists involved and also more programming, so... I'm interested to see what is going on, so... Let me just continue on and just play the game then. Ah! That's new! Such a good laugh. <laughs> it sounds like the music is more high quality this time. Like it's actually being played on the hardware and not and not in reverse too. Give the good jump on this soundtrack. So as per usual, we're on so tails. We're just tails walking down the um, hill. Can we jump? Can we jump? Whoa! The sprites look nice this time. Even Tails is scared. That's that's pretty special. And the gore is a little more detailed instead of just red blood and the flickies just thrown together. It's nice! I can see intestines. Yep, you can jump. Can you spin dash though? Hmm. Nice. Just gotta say, I really love the sprite work here. There's the flicky. Yep. I like the poses. So much detail. So I'm just going to continue on and meet Sonic then. This is taking quite a long time. Just like the original Sonic.exe. Now I was hesitant to play this game since you know it's not got it doesn't have a good a lot of good commentary. It is a walking simulator, in a sense, since you just continue walking and nothing really happens. Oh, that's a hill. I don't think I remember seeing this one. And it even goes uphill if you're doing build up speed slowly. There's Sonic. I'm not doing anything. Tails is running away from Sonic. 
so we'll just have to push him there. Sorry, Tails. Hmm. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Hello. Do you want to play with me? I'm not sure if I want to. <laughs> to be honest. Hide and seek. Oh! Tails is actually reaching for the screen. Like in the creepy pasta, nice. Such good sprite work. The time is building up. I wonder what happens next. It's running down. Should I continue walking? I'm not walking anymore. It's the game that's doing it. Time over. Ready or not? Ah! I'm not moving! Ah! Ah! Run, Tails! Run! Oh, too slow. Want to try again? Ah! My goodness. Tails looks actually very, 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 very mutilated here. That's that's pretty good. That's so detailed. Nice. Now this is a Sonic the AC game. I mean, like yikes! That's a lot of detail for for a dead character. And also, did the music change? I can hear drums on it. That's certainly different comp compared to an original. I like the spunk there. Very very good attention to detail. So let's go on to Knuckle Stage then. <laughs> that love gets old, you know. You can run. Sure I can. <laughs> also, the stage is dark. I remember the stage being lighter though. It's pretty nice. And Knuckles can spin dash too. Can he jump? I have Echidna can jump anyway. <laughs> So, it's, it's another walking simulator. Boring. I like the detail in the poses though. Pretty good, pretty good. I also like the new background. Now it's dark, and that certainly adds a unique feeling to it. Sonic! And now Knuckles is kind of scared too. I can see his scared face. Nice. That's a lot of detail to the game. <gasps> Found you. W what? <gasps> I like the graphics, they're so cool. And the music is so scary! 
Oh, I'm supposed to press X to punch. Can I just go? Sonic's just mocking me. Hmm. Down. Go! I don't like those sounds. Ah! <gasps> so many souls, so little time. Wouldn't you agree? Oh! That looks really scary! I like it, that's really, really good! <gasps> oh my! And then background disappeared too. And this, or is it much more faint? Can't tell. Let's just play as Eggman then. <laughs> ah, that's the music I remember. So many memories. Oh, I like that Eggman's shaking his head. So let's just move on. I think they're gonna emulate the real preview past and just make it so long. So sorry if if this part seems so long. I won't have any good commentary, but you're welcome to stay if you wanna watch me just move a giant eggshell. Forgot how the song goes. Sorry for my terrible whistling. Now the walls are red. <gasps> nice graphics! Now Eggman's looking at a screen and wondering I really shouldn't be here. <laughs> Can we go back? Too fat to do stuff. <laughs> Can you jump though? That's the question. <laughs> he can jump. Whoa. <laughs> So I wonder what's next. Um, just run downstairs, just walk up, blah blah blah. The music doesn't loop. That sucks. I really like the song though. Hmm. Oh, the name changed. <gasps> Game over. Eggman looks like a snowman. <laughs> Anyways, whoa. Now the game is full screen. Ha! <laughs> 
I... I can hear the window! I... am... Gob. Huh. <sighs> what the hell? Now the game the game the game the game is stuck. <sighs> I need to move the game somewhere else. Hold on. Okay, so now the game closed itself, and now there's a notepad text. The I'm God is on my screen, okay? Like, I can't remove it. So I have to... I have to... So I'll just have to get text to task manager. This looks like the thing, so... So there's a Microsoft.NAM framework error. An attempt of exception has occurred in your application. If you click continue, the application will ignore this error and attempt to continue. If you click quit, the application will close immediately. Can I find a part of the path C slash Windows System 32 resources SFX and the MP3? I think there's supposed to be a sound effect that would play at the end, but... It's not playing since I don't have a Microsoft.net framework update, so sorry about that. I'm going to still on my second screen, but not on my first. So we just remove it and there you go. No more. So um, let's read the notepad that just came up then. Will you accept my haven, new friend? My dreams will find you at the end. Notice as my and your new home. Hours to share. And it even has ASCIR of Sonic. That's pretty cool. And it even has even game credits. Sweet. So. Joe Little Boy as the sprite artist, director, and co-owner cool of Sonic the EXE. John Kuhn as the developer coder, Mr. Catalyzer as assistant coder, and the girl who made it possible to do the 4 fall stuff. Scotch reacts as the artist for I'm God segment, sprite artist. Scotch did a really good job. I was actually pretty scared. It was hyper-realistic. <laughs> Manzilla as the sound effect artist and sprite artist. My Hill Kira, Q, Sawamura as Compose of Hill, Mini Team, Go Back, and Hide and Seek. Bioman AU as the composer of You Can Run 000000 and Found You. I liked Found You a lot. It was really, really scary. <laughs> Chloe Jenny, writer, sprite artist, and director. Dylan Zemuffin, and Dylan Zemuffin as Sonic, voice of Sonic Night Z. So, did he do the laugh or is he? Is there some sound effects that where he just narrates something? Because if I didn't have the Microsoft.net framework, I didn't have the Microsoft.net framework updates. And that's embarrassing. Sorry, Dylan. Special thanks to Shell Great Shigra as the original voice of Sonic RPC that was sampled. MI5T Crimson as the creator of the original Sonic RPC fan game and inspiration. There you go, MI5T Crimson. That was the that was, he was the creator of the first song on EXE. Journal songs as inspiration. Astronomic Connex as the current owner of Sonic EXE. Triangle and Mike G for Urban Art Framework and coding help. 
pixelated Pope as the palette shader. Luigi Cat, I'm Matey Mark, Sunfire, and Kane let us. Thanks for playing. And Sega for creating Sonic the Hedgehog and rightful owner of the original sprites. Nice. I'm really happy that Kiyo Sawamura came back to compose for the remake. He or she even made some songs that were new to the game. And also some and also Baumon AU. That I that found you song was so good. I like it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> so scary. And the sprite artist too. Especially Scorch VX. That was so good. Anyways, <coughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me scream and also watching me play this again for the nostalgia. Hopefully I'll play some other creepy faster games soon like Slenderman, Sl Shadow, maybe some Jeff the Killer games or something else. Let me know your recommendations in the comment section. This really brought me back to a time where my friends used to be scared of creepypasta and I also used to have nightmares of them and couldn't sleep. Now I've grown up and it's still scary. <laughs> but I still enjoyed it a lot though. And hopefully you hopefully I brought you back to a simpler time through making this gameplay. Anyways, that's it. If you like this video, like it. And if you want to watch more of these nostalgic gameplays or maybe another horror game, well, subscribe! I guess that's it, so... I'll have to say goodbye then. Goodbye! And have nice dreams. <laughs>